Welcome back to Kinder Swift. Let's continue from where we left off last time. In our last session, we used the let and ver statements. Let and ver statements are called definitions, since they define the identifier and some information about the identifier. Once we do that, we can use the identifier without var in an assignment. In a definition, we do a special assignment called initializing, which sets the first value of an identifier. For a constant, this value will be the only value. Last time we used assignment to add the current value of my result and assign a new value to my result. There is a special case of this we call an increment. The basic increment is this, my result equals my result plus one. We take my result, add one, and assign it back for a new my result. We will use the increments for counting. There are other ways to do the same thing. Type my result plus equals one. The plus equals operator increments for us by the value on the left side of the equals. So here we increment by 1. It is the same as writing what we did just above. We can change the increment as well. If we wanted to increment by 2, we can write this. My result plus equals 2, which is the same as my result equals my result plus 2. There is one way even simpler. That is the plus plus operator. This always adds 1 to the value, but we need no equal sign. Plus plus my result increments my result by 1 and then shows the value of my result. You can put the plus plus at the end too, but this can get a little tricky. My result plus plus shows the result and then increments the value. In the playground, we need to show the result again. That is not all we can do. We can subtract, multiply, and divide as well. For example, my result equals my number minus my other number, subtracts my number from my other number. We use an asterisk for multiplication, so my result equals my number, asterisk, or times. My other number multiplies my number by my other number. We use a forward slash to divide. Try my result equals my number, forward slash, my other number. This divides my number by my other number, giving an integer result. Let's use some literal numbers to see why this is important. Dividing 4 by 2 gets us 2 as expected. Dividing 5 by 2 also gets us 2, since we are using integers. The remainder gets cut off. So far, I've kept the examples whole numbers. Try this. My result equals 2 minus 4 we get a negative number for a result. We can use negative numbers in calculations as well. This subtraction is the same as my result equals 2 plus negative 4, which brings up a possible error you might get. Be careful with spacing. Type this. We get an error since Swift thinks this reads my result equals 2 negative 4. It wants an operator, not two numbers. Add a space between the minus and the 4 the error disappears. Now try this. My result equals 1 divided by 4. We get a result of 0. So far, we are only working with integers. Like 5 divided by 2 above, any non-integer part of division is dropped off. If we need the remainder, often called a mod in computer jargon, we use the percent sign. So 1 mod 4 equals 1. 5 mod 2 also equals 1. There are a few times we use a mod for calculations. Most of the time, I want 5 divided by 2 to be 1.5, and 1 divided by 4 to be 0 0.25. That requires something else called a double, and that will be the topic for our next lesson.